All right, so this is a video to demonstrate the functionality of the Parallax Linked Details tool. So in front of me, we just have a sample project with nothing really in it, just some sample views and things like that. And we'll expand this a little. Uh, the Linked Details app is meant to link details from a resource file that are drafting views. So this project currently does not have any drafting views in it, as we can see. So what we're able to do is we're able to point at resource files and link those details into our project file while maintaining a connection. And then we can update them and things like that if the resource file changes at any point. So what we're going to do is we have a parallax tab after we install it. We're going to go to the link details drop down and click on load slash link details. From here, it will prompt you to choose a file. So what we can do is pick a detail file. I have one saved on my network, just called sample resource file details version 19. Once you click open, the add-in opens the detail file in the background temporarily. You can resize this window as well to be able to see all of them at once. These are all of the drafting views within the document that are available to us. So we're able to see if they also have a sheet number. So if you have like a resource file, and you're used to looking them up by the detail number, you can start to do that and sort them as well. If you click on these headers, you can actually sort them uh, alphanumerically or reverse if you need to. Uh, for this example, we're going to go ahead and load the first three or so. So the add-in loads the details into it in our background. It also lets us know a few things. So there is an issue to where if you have view references inside of a drafting view, you can't copy those drafting views into your file through normal means. So we're actually ignoring view references. So that's something really important to keep in mind. Um, in fact, if you copy view references, it will crash Revit. So it's kind of a crazy situation. Uh, so we have three details in that file that have view references on purpose to be able to demonstrate that. From here, we can see that we now have a drafting views bin with all these different drafting views loaded in. So we see that we have some still framing, some acoustics, things like that. We also have things like the last time that the detail was updated. So if I were to undo we'll see that I don't have a parameter that says last update. So if I redo and I go back to a drafting view, we'll see that we have a last detail date stamp. So that'll have the last time that you updated that detail in it. This is important because now you can start to have a schedule in your project to be able to track when these changes have happened. Along with that, we have a is linked parameter. So you're able to unlink a detail as well. So the minute a detail becomes project specific, you can turn around and unlink it from that file. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and load in a few more. I'll choose the same file for now. And we can see that the details that I've already loaded are not an option. That's because I already have them in my project. So let's go ahead and pick a few more. The add-in goes ahead and loads those in the background. And you can see that we now have them in our project. So let's see what happens when we update a detail now. All right, so I have another instance of Revit open. So I'll just pull that to the main screen. And we're going to update this wall priority legend to make some changes. So what we're going to do is we'll actually just really mess it up in a visual way and we'll save the file. So now that's saving, we'll jump back to our project file and let's update this linked detail. So within the tool, we have an update link details option. Once we click on that, we have a new window presented to us that shows all of the different views that we currently have linked in our project and the file path that they came from. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and update this linked detail. And now we can see that this detail matches the linked file. So we're going to go ahead and undo this. And I'll show what happens if this detail is no longer linked. So once we remove that detail from being linked, we don't have that as an option any longer in the update details window. So what we can do 
is I'll go ahead and reselect is linked. We'll go to update. And now we can see that it's still there again. We'll click update again just to see it update. So this is a one-way push. This will come from your resource file into your project file. And that's because this is meant to work for typical details within a resource file. So one other question that's actually came up is what happens if the detail file is moved or renamed? What do we do? So that's something that the tool handles pretty well. So what we can do is just change the name of this and add some extra S's or something. And we go to update details, we'll see that these details are saying that that sample file is missing. So now we've went ahead and checked if that file exists for you. When they're red, that tells us that we need to repath them back inside of the tool. So if we go to the linked details button and repath details, it gives us all of the resource files that are eligible to be relinked. So all we need to do is double click on this item and tell it what file it's supposed to come from. In that case, it's this one with the extra S's. Once that's done, we can see that all of our files are repathed. We'll click close. And now we can update the details and carry on. So you can go through and hold down shift and update all of them at once if you needed to. Uh, this also supports multiple files. So if I were to load and link details from another file, and I should have one that's from Revit 18. We're going to click open. It'll temporarily upgrade the file, and then you can go through and link those as well. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and pick a different one, load and link it. And now we can see if we go to the tool, we have two project files that we're getting details from. So this is really important because now we can have multiple resources for different detail files. So we can have door details, file, resource file, window details, etc. Uh, so this is a quick demo of the functionality. There are some additional things that are added in for things like bin managers. So if you need to see that kind of stuff, let us know as well. But other than that, there it is. Thanks.